This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites to analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your business or passion project. Isn't this fantastic? So idyllic. Wow! <laughs> so many! <laughs> How can I finish this all? Azadimah. Gazur! 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 And the view is fantastic with a beautiful horse. In the last episode, I traveled using local transportation from Kurderi village to Kulahupi, where I'll be staying for a few days to document my stay in a restored traditional Albanian stone house. I have paid to stay for a few nights here to learn about the story behind this restoration project and why the owner is running this guest house business. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Lepurak village. So I am currently staying in a stone house, uh, which has been recently renovated into a traditional guest house. I just arrived yesterday afternoon and have just been trying to settle in, make, my feel, make, make myself feel comfortable. And I thought of uh, showcasing you what the traditional way of living looks like, although this is probably more of a guest house experience. So stone houses in Albanian is known as kula or tower, tower houses and basically it is a stone house that resembles a fortress that was built during the Ottoman Empire throughout the Balkans and generally you can find them scattered around northern Albania in the mountainous villages and uh, yeah some of the remainings that still exist are beyond repair and abandoned. So the word kule is believed to be there from the word the Arabic word which means castle and the limestone as the material for the stone houses uh, are believed to be sourced from limestone mountains. The stone houses were not easy to build and was were not cheap basically and it became the symbol of power and affluence. Look at this golden hour view with some houses on the hill. It's stunning. So Lul, the owner of Kulahupi, usually works with surrounding villages and uh, different households within this particular area to sort of produce homemade uh, rakia or homemade alcohol, homemade pickles, homemade dry teas or even like compote like this, which are traditionally fruit drinks for the guests to enjoy. Hi everybody, I'm Lulzim. I am here with uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim is my friend and uh, my uncle of my wife. And we work together. He has a lot of beautiful place, a lot of beautiful views and beer product. If you come here, he gives you all time beer product. <laughs> We're drinking Raki. 
Gazur. Gazur. What do you say? Gazur. 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 You do um, the best raki in this village. In this village? Yes. So yes. how long has he made that for? Yeah, it's actually nice. Yeah. Show me it. I think uh, more Both than uh, 30 years. 30 years? Yes. Yeah, that's... Learned from his father. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's generation by generation. 30 years, tell him that. That's when I was born. So he just started. Cool cafe, but I raki not know how yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Albania and generally in the Balkans, people are uh, used to having fresh produce uh, because of the abundance of resources. And at the same time, because of the hot weather, it's more of like Mediterranean climate. Generally, people also drink uh, yogurt. This reminds me of iron in Iran. There's also a similar drink in Turkey. Although at the same time, <laughs> rakia during the day is also quite nice. It's usually made out of plums, grapes, and anything that they harvest. I would like to quickly thank today's sponsor Squarespace for making this video possible. I recently launched my website shifaidriana.com. Using Squarespace intuitive website builder and out-of-the-box professional designs, I was able to put together a great looking website with no prior experience. Squarespace also gives you easy tools to push website content directly to your different social media channels, with many more amazing features including member areas, website analytics and blogging features, Squarespace is the perfect tool for your passion project or business. Supporting my sponsors also supports me to make more content, so head over to squarespace.com slash shifaidriana to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code shifaidriana. Good afternoon. So it's close, quarter to four, and we are in a car actually heading to I don't know where, but we're possibly yeah to a farm. <laughs> I'm here with Liana. She's traveling with her family from Malta, and uh, we're possibly going to experience horse riding. <sighs> The horse is so pretty. Do you know what's its name? No? no? Shaman. Shaman. Name? No speaking. Lion. Ubed. Ubed and Shamar. They won't do anything. As you can see, there is a haystack here which usually is used to feed the cattle or even the horses. The remaining horses are usually in the mountains grazing. This is Noor. Hello, Noor. <laughs> Noor is shy. Noor is Obed's brother. And he's like quite reserved, but he's curious. Yeah. Mir? <laughs> Mir? Good? Hi, Obed. Noor? Hi. as well as supporting local families by giving them the opportunity to provide experiences and food to travelers at the guest house. He also employs his mother, Mama Sofia. She works so hard to keep the house running and always gives the best hospitality. 
but as you can see, like this is the kitchen where Mama Sophia will cook, but also she usually will get help when there are lots of different guests coming. Oftentimes, even her daughter-in-law will be here cooking and uh, yeah. Wow! <laughs> yesterday by a fellow guest here he said that in Albania as long as they've got bread salt and heart everything will be fine so it reflects the importance of life simplicity but also hospitality and I think Mama Sophia has this sense of duty of serving the guests to her best ability she will not stop moving she is 71 years old yet she really likes moving cooking and uh, I think she feels very happy and gained a tremendous satisfaction from doing this I'm helping Mama uh, Peeling off the beans. She has all the beans here in her pocket. <laughs> yeah, we have we have a lot of work to do now. So I am here trying to be a useful human being being a basket for all the fruits that mama is picking and um, probably preparing for the guests. And oftentimes in such travel experiences like this, I have a lot of language barriers. I don't know what she meant. I don't know whether she likes the fact that I am sort of bothering her with my presence. And she is still an elderly woman and she has her way of doing things. She knows her workflow and sometimes I'm trying to be sensitive in understanding whether uh, what I do is disrupting uh, or whether it is okay or not okay. Yeah, you just have to be sensitive in knowing um, when to stop and when not to disturb her. Oh. Domatos. Domate. 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 Fresh cucumber from Mama. Mama. <laughs> Mama Sophia. Yeah. Carrying this for Mama. There is also even a river stream. Although the stream is quite small but yeah it is always calming to hear the river stream it's all those simple things you know yesterday i stumbled upon another fellow travelers from switzerland and said that if he's watching this he was so cool that he was riding a motorbike he was able to lend me his motorbike so that i could probably try riding a motorbike with a clutch and uh, I gain a bit of confidence in that but I suppose because this place is not within the tourist hotspot the major tourist uh, destinations it is nice to meet other fellow travelers who are curious enough to stay in you know this authentic places where we get on pretty easily usually because we have the same shared of interest in seeking like a bit more traditional and authentic travel experiences so much for watching today's episode i hope that you learned a thing or two from this particular video from my travel experiences that i tried to share that with you and uh, yeah just trying to document my solo travel my way of trying to learn different cultures in an honest way and let me know what you think down in the comment section below i love reading everyone's comment and don't forget to check out my other travel series from albania travel series from other country and also my patreon account if you wish to support a creator like me and my work can't wait to see you there so yeah see you again on the next video
I can't wait. Bye. Bye.